So I'm going to provide you with a little bit of a walkthrough of the proof behind the relationship between the number of vertices, internal vertices, and leaves in a full MRE tree, T. So we're going to say T is a full MRE tree. We're going to say N is the number of vertices, I is the number of internal vertices, and L is the number of leaves. This right here is the theorem that basically says that N is equal to MI plus 1. In other words, the value of M times the number of internals plus 1. And the number of leaves is then 1 less than the value of M times the number of internals plus 1. So facts that we know. So we know that a tree has N minus 1 edges. How's that going to come into play? Well, we'll see in a little bit. We know that each leaf has degree 1. We know the root is going to have degree M. So let's just take a look at our tree up here. This is the root, and you notice that it has... Whatever M is, it's going to have that many children coming out of it because, remember, full M area means every node either has no children or M children. So we either have, you know, we're very limited to what our degrees can be. So the root has degree M, but then if you look at any other internal vertex, it's going to have one more because it's not only going to have the four children, but it's, only, it's also going to have one coming from its parents. That means M plus 1. So what we're going to do, the theory behind getting this relationship, is looking at the, number, the total of the degrees. We know that if T has N minus 1 edges, then the sum of the degrees is twice the number of edges, which is 2N minus 2. Okay? We also know that the sum of all the degrees comes in three parts. We know that every leaf has degree 1, we know that the root has degree M, and we know that all the other internals are going to contribute I minus 1, internal vertices left over, times M plus 1 to account for the parent and the children. So we multiply that all out. We get L plus M plus this, and notice that the M's cross out here. So we have this relationship right here. Now remember, every vertex is either a leaf or an internal vertex, which means if you add L and I, you get N. So that means that L is equal to N minus 1. So substituting that into the formula, so we have 2N minus 2 equals, so there's the N minus I in place of the L, plus I M plus I minus 1, so drag on the rest of it. Notice this time that the I's cross out, and I also added 2 to both sides to get here, and subtracted n from both sides to get here. So notice there is the first relationship we wanted. We wanted n equals i m plus 1. Then, to get the number of leaves, we want an expression for that that doesn't necessarily involve n. We know that the number of leaves is n, whoops, is n minus i. So I'm going to replace n by what we just found out it is. Rearrange the terms. And... This might make things a little bit simpler, but we factor the i out, and there's our formula. So given the number of nodes that a graph has, and you know the value of m, you can find the number of internals and the number of leaves. So there we have it. Thanks for watching.